Okay, so uh, we built a trim sheet. Let's go ahead and max, bring it into a, let's bring it into a material. We can get started on, I'm gonna build a fountain type thing out of this. Let's drop bitmap. I believe it's here. Oh no, it's up on floor. All right, trim sheet there. And there's our concrete. And it's not even done yet, but uh, I have such goals for you, my son. Material, scan line, standard, and put us put in the diffuse. Because um, this is not even going to be the uh, final result. Just going to be the beginnings of a cool product. So I got it all ready to go to put onto an object. So let's build our object. Front view. We're going to go to a spline. We're going to do a line. I'm just going to build kind of like an ashtray fountain type thing. Um, I'm going to start off with like a circle type thing. And then let's go ahead and build from there. And I'm trying to keep in mind of a lot of what I've already got my trim sheet and things that I, as I build this, I'm like, oh, that would be a cool thing to do. And by the way, to get a quick corner, I'm holding shift and I'll just lock it into an axis. And here, and then we'll have sidewalk, sidewalk, broken sidewalk. Sweet. Now, let's take that. We're going to add one more vertex. Just gonna have that go down. Okay, cool. Then we're gonna attach that one, and then we'll go to the segments and delete those two, those three. Uh, no, leave that one there, and then I'll hit refine. And I'll encourage the shape of a ball right there. And that's what I want. So there, and then let's go ahead and. Get that set up. Let's go create, uh, connect. All right, cool. All right. All right. All right. So now what I need. What I need to do now is move the pivot point to the origin where I'm anticipating my model to spin. I may need to move the spline over a little bit, but then that's no big deal. We'll do, um, we're doing splines, patch and splines. Uh, then we'll do the lathe. Look at my awesome fountain and sidewalk. All right, so now when I see it in 3D, I'm like, oh, gosh, i got to fix it. So I'll turn the testing on. Let's just move some things up. Hold this one. Deep. I didn't want that one, didn't I? Beep. Beep. All right. Sweet, that looks like something you would drop your, you want to throw your money into, right? Cool, so let's go ahead and straighten this up a little bit more, square this up. So there's the nice sidewalk, there's where it starts to crack. And then here's where it gets destroyed. So a good transition there. Let's make you a Bezier. Go back into that side view so we can get good control. Alright. I'll drop that down. And I'll put that up there. Okay, cool. Now the amount of geometry on 
of that curve right there is going to be in the interpolation. I'm going to drop that down a little bit because we don't need that much at this point. I want more than that. There we go, something like that. Go ahead and class it down to an elbow. Ooh, not yet, not yet, not yet. I forgot one thing. Let's check the lathe. I want to make it oh, 16. Good. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's make it 16. Why the hell not? All right. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, collapse to. This is what I do at any time I build a lathe object, is I'm going to get the UV setup, of course. So, polygon mode. Actually, let's go into make it an edible poly. Go to polygon mode. I mean, yeah, get the get it polygons and delete. Delete this. All right. Max behave. Collapse. All right, so there's a quarter of our project. And since it's going to be basically the same thing, what I'm going to do to get the UV set up, I'll just do it with this one. I think I can do it pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and just bang it out. UV. There we go. Get rid of this one real quick. All right, so. If I make it a cylindrical projection based on the direction that it's at, I could probably get a good, decent grab of it and then just let some of the flatten tools take care of the business. So like I was saying here, hit Control A, um, go in there and find cylindrical. So I'll slide this over to where this is the middle. Yeah, see how that's kind of giving me something? Okay, um, and now let's get out of that mode and deselect all that and deselect all that. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, let's get rid of those two. And actually, I'll get rid of these because I don't want to deal with those. So actually, let's get out of back face. And we'll take those. Cool. All right, so break. Well, let's flatten it real quick. Okay, well, let's flatten everything then. Okay, I'll turn this off real quick. So I'm going to stop the video because I'm just going to get everything to where it's squared and flat. Like I want to, I'll show you what I'm going to do with everything, but I'm not going to record it all because it's just tedious. So I want to break that off, slide this over. So let's go ahead and do one thing real quick so you can see what I'm going to do and then I'll show you what is done when the cake is cooked in the oven. Material editor, drop that on there. Do. All right, now I come in here, I got to go dig up the image. So let's see, check the pattern, assign, pig texture. Let's close that, go sample slot, uh, see materials. Go in there. Now I turn it on, and there's my texture. Let's get these things. Let's get all this out of the way. What I'm gonna do is rotate this. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna go to vertex mode. And I'm gonna just basically slowly take my time hitting each one of these segments. Square it off.
And once I get all these rotated, I'll actually go through and use the um, alignment tools to get it squared off flatter. It'll just help make sure the uh, square that I hit. Boop. So I'm not going to do this for every piece on video, but this is what I'm going to do for every piece. So, let's get back into here. I know this one needs to get a little longer. Just leave it like that. And you can just basically tell what's going to happen already. All right, so I've got it upside down. So I'm going to put this right here. So what I can do now is grab some polygons. Let's scale this down a little bit. Since these are the wider ones and the ones in the middle are the And you see how the stretching is there. So with that a lot, what so what I'm gonna have to do here is just go ahead and break the pieces off. So I'm gonna hit break. Slide that somewhere, hit break. I can put that right there. Stretch this. I grab these, slide these down. I'm gonna scale these to where they help on the where it matches. There we go, that's what I want to do. 